Hey guys, it's me Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel for part number... I don't know. <laughs> it's the renovation. Yay! That was a weird yay because I was trying not to burp. Sorry. So I've never done one of these before. Anyway, a speed renovation with a voiceover. So bear with me. Um, so it started off, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep the original layout and just modify it a little bit or completely bulldoze the project. As you can tell, I definitely bulldozed it. And I started off thinking, I really like all the rooms to be on one side. So I made Annie's and Elle's room side by side, the same shape. And I originally had the idea I wanted them to have both have walk-in closets. So that's what I'm creating now. Um, sorry, there's a kernel stuck in my tooth. Yeah, this is off to a great start. Okay, I was shoving my face with popcorn before this. <laughs> okay, so anyway. That's what we're starting off with, and I wasn't really sure what theme I wanted to go for this whole apartment. I tried I tried getting this large door in there. I thought it'd be really cool if they had a single panel or a single block, like, you know, one, one grid size door that was really tall. I thought that'd be really cool, but they don't, so boo. And then I decided, you know, we're gonna put the kitchen right as you walk in. I always think that's really nice. It's really inviting for people to come in and chat. And I was like, I need to give Annie an office. So this is me just coming out with a bit of a layout before I started building. And I thought as well that we should have a guest room, you know, in case like Salem stays over or anyone else who might, um, might want a guest room. And then I made a humongous bathroom because I wasn't able to make more than one bathroom for the girls to share. So for the girls to have like separately so I just made a massive one all right so this is the guest room I really wanted to make it really bright and colorful I don't think I've completely finished with this but I'm going to go ahead and keep it as it is for now and add to it as I think of what to add because I mean what all do you put in a guest bedroom besides like what you're not using right so like maybe we'll put some like boxes and storage in there um, so this person does get their own private bathroom in the guest room because I would imagine the girls are going to be pretty messy with their own bathroom and probably shouldn't be sharing. <laughs> and I just went with a nice neutral color for the bathroom. Um, I tried to keep it basic with like light wood color inside for the rest of the bedroom because the walls and the bed were so loud. I wanted to keep it pretty quiet for the rest of it and finding a rug was surprisingly hard um, at first I was like oh this purchase this matches perfectly no it doesn't and so then I I think I settled with that one and then I wanted to put a rug in the corner but then it looked wrong just too blocky and like the space was cut off and I was like no and these are my favorite lights you'll see me use them throughout the house they're just the regular lights but I have a mod or something that makes them look smaller so they're not as bulky and like in your in your face so I put that in there and then I originally put the dresser at the end of the bed but I do end up moving that so that's not gonna stay there that's for sure and then I've done this before move objects on putting um, like a tray table kind of thing over a bed at the foot of the bed and I've used it before and it has worked where the Sims can actually sleep and use the bed so I, I don't remember if I kept that black or not and I forgot I was gonna put some de decorations on there like a plant or something and maybe some coffee um, but I forgot to do that so I'll probably do that afterwards and I still don't think I still think this room is really bare like there's no decorations I didn't want to give them a computer because I mean why would a guest have their own like personal like computer we're not that rich so anyway then I moved on to Annie's office which I am in love with I like think it's like right on the edge of like trashy <laughs> but as soon as I found this chair I was like oh my god yes that is gonna be the pop of color for this room the rest of it is just gonna be black and white and it's gonna be awesome so <laughs> then I found this zebra um, rug and I was like this is absolutely ridiculous we need to have it this is so posh so then I put on an accent wall to go with it and then the rest of the wall, I think I make dark gray. Pardon. 
pardon me as I sip my coffee. And I like it how she can just look over the city in both directions. She's got like windows expanding throughout two whole sides of her office, which is amazing. Like I would love that view, um, but I don't have it. I have a view of the ground because I'm on the first level and my apartment is halfway in the ground. So we keep the blinds shut because when people walk by, they can just look down into our office, our bedroom or whatever, and it's super awkward. All right, so now I'm starting to make the bathroom. I want it to be this, I want it to be like super luxurious and have its own toilet room. So the toilet is separate so they can both do their business in there if needed. And then <clears throat> I wanted a shower and a bath because I want Annie to be able to take soaks. Like I'm obsessed with doing soaks right now. I don't know why. Like not me personally, I hate baths, but I love my Sims to take, for my Sims to take baths and I love for them to um, soak. So I like taking a mud bath and that sort of thing. So if she had like a long day of work, she can come home and do that. And then at first I was like, maybe a Jack and Jill kind of thing where we have a sink for both of them. But then I end up taking out the second sink so I can make room for um, some uh, like makeup products. Um, Cause really probably don't need two sinks except for to brush your teeth and that doesn't take too long. So they just go ahead and share one sink. And I needed an accent wall, and I was like, well, they're girls, it's gonna be pink, of course. So I made it pink. I don't think anything else in the bathroom is pink, except for that wall, so I kinda like it. And then I gave them some bath robes. Um, I ended up putting them above the bathtub because that's probably where they would grab them from. And then I put in some slippers, which are, which are um, is a custom content, and I think it's adorable. And this awesome mirror. It's huge and it fit just perfectly over the counter and I just was so excited about it because especially because that end piece of the counter is not a full size counter if that makes sense. So the fact that it fit on top was perfect. So I wanted to clutter this up with makeup products. These are pretty much all mods and the soap bottle doesn't really fit on the sink right so I was like mm, whatever I'm just gonna leave it like that. It'll, it'll levitate a little bit whatever. That's cool. So <laughs> then um, I was, I spent like a day and a half looking for this one specific um, makeup box that I had used previously in this LP when Annie first had her first apartment and she had the big white wardrobe. Um, she had that like makeup set. So I was like, I couldn't find it. I looked forever for it. I ended up like searching makeup in the search bar no, didn't come up there, so I just had to scroll until I found it. I don't know when I'm going to find it. Pretty soon. There it is. Ended up giving it its own counter because it's just so big and moved the toothbrushes over. Okay, and then I forgot to put floors in, so I went ahead and went back to do that. At first I wanted to do a white floor, but then I was like, uh, it doesn't give the carpet the rug in there enough pop. So I made it dark to match the walls. Um, I think I went dark in here as well, yes. Um, so again, a little more pop. Um, and then we started on the kitchen. So this kitchen was, it's not my usual color scheme. Usually I'll do like all white or like all black, but I've never done brown and gray or like brown and black. And oh my gosh, I love this fridge. It's custom content and it looks like it's like little things left from Annie. Like, here's my schoolwork. Here's or like a shopping list or something. And the best sink ever, like a bucket sink. I love it. So then I wanted to separate it and give it a little more privacy. So I went ahead and put that wall divider up there. And I ended up really liking that wall behind it. I just needed to change its color, so I did. Um, and I was like kind of worried because I was like, I don't know what color I'm going to make the rest of this house because I don't think I'm going to be breaking it up into any more rooms than this. And what color is going to go with everything that I want to put in here. So anyway, I was really excited that we were able to afford a dishwasher. Um, I love having a dishwasher in there and a sink. And we finally got a coffee maker and I put like a little coffee cup next to it um, to make it look like a little more realistic. So I would prefer the tea maker, but mm, whatever. <laughs> Maybe we'll get it later. And then this is really awkward. I wasn't sure how best to do this. Um, I ended up, yeah, lining it up like that. So the um, 
the seats are kind of like blocking the hallway a little bit, which I don't like, but I thought it was best for those counters to line up with the counters on the other side, so that's what I did. And um, I like it okay. I might change it at some point. I might like turn it around maybe. I don't know. But anyway, um, going on to what, what um, color I wanted for the room, and I chose that one, and I needed to replace the walls, and I put them, put the same color in the hallway as well just to kind of pull it together and then it was really hard for me to choose the floor for this because there was I wanted it to be tile but for some reason it took me forever to find I think it's the spot egg tile that I use it takes me forever to find it and finally use it and then a little trick that I like to do is use this specific fencing and make little dividers and they can walk over this it's not blocking them or anything I like to make little dividers between um, between floor material so from carpet to wood or tile to wood or tile to carpet um, I like to just put a little bit of separation there and it technically makes it its own room so when you place it it place the um, whatever floor floor pattern it um, it'll fill up the whole section so that's what I'm doing there um, this part I was going to make the other side I was gonna make the living room but I ended up making it this side I really wanted to go for the curved TV but I didn't think it was in the budget so I just went for this one and then I was like okay well let's kind of tie in the walls with this and make it um, wood colored and see how that goes and so I did that and that little DVD player is actually a music, works as a stereo, so that's also custom content. I love that. And then I was trying to like match with like tans and browns, and, uh, and finally I was like, white goes with everything. Why am I not using white? So I used white, and a lot of what I used is custom content, so sorry about that. <laughs> I don't really know where I got it, but it looks good, so that's nice. And then another trick I do is if I find something that I know I'm going to forget later, I grab it and then place it in the room that I'm going to use it later, so I have it. Um, so that's what that was about with that pink rug. And I really like putting ottomans or like poofs in front of the um, in front of couches, so it looks like a footrest. But in reality, it's actually more seating in case we have people over for a game night or a movie night or something. It's just more places for people to sit. So I really like the looks of that. I think it makes it a little more casual when people come over so yeah and then I was trying to get the lighting system down and also curtains um, whenever I do curtains I always think of life summer because <laughs> she's all about decorating and always she was like a room is never done without curtains and the curtain choices are not that great in this game so I finally found some that were custom content that were like dark gray almost black and they worked okay and then I was gonna put end tables on each side, but I wanted it to not be totally symmetrical. So I got these two different color custom content end tables and I ended up making them um, our light fixtures. And I just, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that. It looks a little busy to me, but I don't know if I like it or if it's just too busy. So anyway, that's what I put there. And then I was like, okay, um, what am I gonna put this in this space over here? Oh yeah it's gonna be a dining area so I changed that and then I had to change the color of the border floor border I didn't like it it wasn't working so I think I changed it again after that so um yeah oh sorry for everybody who hates carpet I kind of wanted to use it I feel like it makes it look a little more upscale at least in that section in that living room Okay, so I got more wood um, and put that in there. I grabbed a matching curtain to put up there as well, so I did that. And I love this table. I think they have it as an outdoor patio table, but this is a um, custom content that puts it on its own. That's a six-seater, six so it's a circle table and you can put six seats, see? So I really love that. I love using it when I can, so I used that. At first I was going to center it, but then I decided to move it over to the right a little bit so it was more centered in the bare wall space. Um, but this dining area took me quite a little bit of time. Um, 
I really enjoyed doing it, but it was just hard to do. I was, I, I don't know if I was in the most creative mood, but um, yeah, I just stuck with the same colors that I saw in the living room, and this whole area is basically black, white, and tan, so that's kind of the color scheme that I went with as well. Later I add in a pop, uh, pop of color with some blue as well, um, which you'll see because I tried to get creative with the painting. And yes, I tried to make a tree <laughs> the centerpiece for the table, but that didn't work out. So this is me trying to find a suitable centerpiece that didn't have like color to it, but still looked good. Like green, I feel like doesn't count. So, but those flowers that were like purple, those didn't go, so I didn't use those. I ended up using the hydrangeas. I think they're called hydrangeas and I love them. And what dining room is complete without a bar? So we finally went with, I think that's outdoor living stuff or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Outdoor some, I don't know. So we went with that. And this is where I tried to get fancy. <laughs> At first I had them gold because I thought it would go with tan, those little wall hanging things. And then I turned them a more muted color blue and I was like oh that looks pretty nice I actually kind of like that so I kept it and then I was trying to find some picture to go over the bar that was blue as well and I was like oh a wine glass that makes sense does it have anything blue that would kind of match and I found that um, I ended up changing it because it just doesn't go the way I wanted it to so that's different and then I ended up close or like separating those two sections um, the dining room and the bar so that the dining room is a little more closed off so that's that and I don't know what I'm doing now oh yeah I'm looking for the little guy the little statue guy who has that platter that can put stuff on I always love having him hold a drink tray which you'll see me place but in the end he didn't go with the room unfortunately so I had to take him out again he was just too fancy and he was like the wrong theme he's too fancy and this is more like modern i guess so he had to go um next i was determined to have that drink tray still because it's just a really easy way to serve drinks at a party so i just put one on the end there and it does have that pop of color blue i want you to notice so there's still blue in the picture there and then I was like, well, this is an awkward space between the bar and that table, so I plopped in a trash can. <laughs> we don't really need trash cans and but in apartments, but I was like, well, we'll just put one in there anyway. And then I wanted something to fill up that wall, so this is custom content again. I think it says my kitchen, my space. Oh, that's not the one that I ended up going with because I didn't like that color, I think. I think it's a to-do list. I don't know what it says. I think it's a to-do. You can see it better than I can. I'm in rendering so everything's a little fuzzy for me um and then i wanted in the entryway to have a little place where the girls could look at themselves and finish getting ready and just last minute touches slide on their lipstick in the mirror or when they come in to drop off their keys or their purses or whatever and i put a little um grocery list there or like a shopping list there as well so they would see that when they would leave the apartment and remember it to purchase it so that's what that is and then I thought it needed a little bit of glow so I put in a candle there so yeah that's cute I liked that um, what are we doing next oh a kernel I found one. Oh yeah I really like this these trees but I can never really get them to work so they had to go I'm still trying to figure out what to put in there uh, I was trying to find like a drink sign and then I went for the spa sign in blue to pull in more blue. It didn't really work. I'm still trying to find blue colored stuff and then I was like, oh, how about this new um, city artwork? I think that would look really nice. I just don't know which one to use. So I cycled through that a little bit and then I found this one. I thought it was really pretty and I thought I could pull it in a little bit more. So I changed the little curtain things to match. And then I think later, I don't change the carpet. I try to, but I ended up thinking that the beige is the best color for it. So then I changed the flower colors. And I can't remember which color I go with, but I think it's the, the navy blue. I'm pretty sure. 
Okay, so now we're moving on to Elle's room. So I already have that wallpaper picked out, the little tassels, which I think is so cute. Um, and then I was like, what color? I don't think I want to do pink because she's not overly girly. So what color can I make the rest of the room? Because it can't all be tassels, it's just, just too busy. So I was like, yellow, that's another color in the wallpaper. So then so I made it and then I wanted that wall to be an accent, um, like an accent corner. So I ended up making it pink. Um, just to give the room a little more dimension and then um, that's I love that carpet again <laughs> custom content but I think it's just so cute and maybe it is a little too girly for her and a little too posh and maybe this room is a little too grown up for her for right now but she'll grow into it and um, I still think it's really cute so really cute whatever I just said that was ridiculous so now I'm picking out a bed. I ended up doing a custom content bed, surprise, and it's a fashion bed. So I'm actually going to have, I believe she's going to end up going into the fashion career once she ages up. And that's actually a mod that I added in. It's by Brittany Sims, I think it's called. Um, she's the same one who did the baby shower one and the sleepover mod as well. So she made a fashion career mod. So I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to have. Um, Elle go into when she grows up so I wanted to make her room like a little fashion fashionista place um, curtains again I felt like I needed curtains to cover up well help cover up the fact that the windows were black and did not go at all I don't remember what I end up choosing I think I end up just going with the one yellow curtain and I'm not too pleased with it but it is what it is I wish the windows were white or pink <laughs> and then pink end tables to pull in that bright pink color from the walls and then to go with that fashion set there's a fashion lamp which doesn't totally match but it works um, and then I don't know what I'm doing next oh yeah looking for more parts of the fashion set and I found that mirror I think it says something about being fashionable on it and then I found this carpet which I love, this rug, and I was like, that kind of matches better, maybe I should try it, but then I ended up keeping the fuzzy one anyway, because I just did. And then I wanted some more oomph inside the walk-in closet, so I gave it some circles, which I've never used before, so I don't know how I feel about them. And then we end up looking for what next? Oh yeah, just some clutter. I put an open book with a pencil on the on the um, dresser. I think it would be good as a like a diary for Elle, like just pretending it's a diary. And I found a little happy sign. It doesn't totally match, but it's still kind of a dark pink. And then I found these cute books. I think Elle's like she's really smart. She's really everything. So she can she reads. She paints. She is into fashion all that good stuff and then I just added more books because she's a bookie probably should have added a bookshelf but I didn't think about that <laughs> so now we need her drawing table which I promised I would get and she's gonna have a violin too because her mom's musical she might try her hand at music tried to put in a game table but there wasn't enough room really it just made it look too full so I ended up getting her a little stuffed animal, which I was going to do anyway. Well, not little. It's actually huge. It's like her size, um, which I wish I got. Have you seen those huge bears at Costco that are like literally the size of like three children stacked on top of each other in just in height and like two children wide? Oh my gosh, I want it so badly. But anyway, I don't have like... I think it's like $200 or something. I don't have that kind of money to drop. And I also live in an apartment, so where would I put it? Anyway moving on um now we're putting in some of the shoes in the closet um i wasn't i was getting kind of um burnt out at this point so i didn't put in any more closety kind of things um but i wanted something to fill up that space so i found that cute little kid decor and boom there it is <laughs> so next and last but not least is annie's room She's always had an interesting sense of style, so I wanted to go with navy. I didn't want a, the panel. I wanted brick and navy, and again, an accent room. Um, put in that orange, which I love, and then the accent walls, more brick, and I feel like an apartment should have brick somewhere in it. <laughs> like, my apartment doesn't, but like, 
fancy apartments like this, that's like all the rage now for having exposed brick. And then my other struggle was finding some matching flooring, but I prevailed. <laughs> and then I wanted a navy bed and I wanted to use one of the new beds. I really liked that red bed, this particular one that has two different colored pillows, but obviously that doesn't go. So I ended up going with white because again, white goes with everything and I think it looks pretty good in there. Plus it's burnt up some of our money, like it was $8.5 thousand dollars. <laughs> And then a little bit of pop of blue with those flowers. Um, and then we're gonna work on the closet, which I was like, why not give her an adult closet? Because you can have you can have woohoo in closets, and she's an adult, and that might happen. So I, instead of giving her like a walk-in closet with a dresser like Elle, I just gave her her own actual closet. And then I wanted another kind of I wanted a well, there's a, like a sitting chair for her to, for her friends maybe to sit down and like critique how she looks when she's getting ready and be like, ooh, girl, no, not that top. And then I wanted a little like kind of vanity station for her to kind of get ready as well. I don't know. I mean, obviously I've got so much makeup and stuff already in the bathroom, but I thought it would just be nice to have just a little something there. So... I found the perfect custom content mirror. It just looks perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for and I didn't even know I had it. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I found a trash can that would look good in the office, so I put that in there. <laughs> it's even it's not even a real trash can, it's just decorations. Um, some deco birds, and then I was looking for some cool floor patterns or floor rug, and I ended up finding what did I end up using? I think that one yeah and I made it bigger so I liked the way that looked especially against the brick um and then I think what do I work on next um, oh yeah okay cluttering up the, the little things so I put her sunglasses there um, like that's where she would leave them easy to pick up maybe her um, her laptop that she takes with her to work um, and then I was gonna put that like an open pocketbook, but then I thought it looked better in the entryway because it looked like a little planner that she would write in. So I put that by the door and then a little, um, a little picture. And then whenever I try to lift stuff, you know how you can press like nine and stuff will start getting higher? My game does that where it just throws the camera absolutely bass backwards. So, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> so I wasn't able to do that. I was going to put books on the lower shelf, but no. And then again, a struggle finding something to put in this empty wall. That's what I end up doing, blowing it up. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And then our final struggle is finding a curtain, a curtain situation. First, I was like, mm, the curtains are like, all right, we can get there's these ones, these ones specifically <laughs> that are um, navy blue and white and match perfectly, but they look a little funky. And hey, this these windows are tall enough anyway. Who's gonna be able to peek in? So I ended up finding some other curtains, and I wanted to layer them a little bit, give the bed a little more gauzy look. And um, I ended up using this large one um, that matches and layering these guys. At first I thought it was gonna little, look a little glitchy, but then I ended up liking how it looked. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.